so we're back. Uh, last time we left off, we had to deal with uh, Marina over here. So uh, let's continue. Would you mind coming back to my office with me? Oh, shit. This is going to get feisty. You are a fine specimen of a man, and it's been a long time since I found prey worthy of my unique attention. You intrigued me the moment I saw you, so please. Marina licks her lips, her eyes heavy with expectation. Don't let me down. Look at her face! Look at her face! Th like, what the fuck is this? It, this is a <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> what am I getting myself into? I do it not. Oh! My, my, I must say, I'm impressed. I didn't think you would be able to go, go for quite that long, particularly with all that alcohol inside you. Wait a minute. You're quite the interesting man, Rocky. <laughs> Marina laughs, her eyes half-lidded as she runs her fingers through my hair. Wait a second. She's sitting cross-legged upon the floor, wearing the typical office attire. I, meanwhile, laying upon Marina's lap, wearing nothing but my underwear. OH SHIT! OH SHIT! Under n normal circumstances, I probably feel exposed, but, well, these circumstances are anything other than normal, yet, yeah, like, no shit! What the fuck? Nigga, what? I met the famous businesswoman, Wakazuki Marina, in a small bar on a swanky town, swanky street, sorry. After plying me with a few drinks, she invites me back to her office. Then we enjoyed ourselves. So we did. F Good lord. So now my madness has subsided somehow. I'm beginning to feel the consequences of my actions. Well, to be quite fair, at least she's reasonable. <laughs> That's all I can say. At least she's reasonable. <laughs> my whole body aches as if I've been thrown off the top of the Tokyo Towers and my head's killing me. At least I can rest it on Marina's delectable thighs. <laughs> well, that's fair. How cute. Marina continues to run her hands through my hair. Her voice alight, letting sing song. Excuse me. Though I put Marina through the ringer, she immense from our love, making relatively unscathed. She doesn't seem at all out of breath, unlike me. In fact, she's even smiling. I guess Marina's forge from pretty tough stuff. Is that pretty requisite if you want to get ahead in the business world? She has far more stamina than I do. <laughs> Marina, I blinked up to her pretty face. Um, my gaze unfocused. Her visage swims before me and my temple starts to pound something fierce. Shit. Yes. Marina, her part, only smiles. She looks down at me. Her bone white hair trends across my cheeks and says sweetly, What is it, dear? You, um, I was just wondering, did that feel good for you? If she says no, I, I, I swear to God, this nigga is, this nigga is hopeless. I, I swear to God, if, uh, I'm being honest, if, 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 if it's weak, my guy, <laughs> you are worthless. <laughs> you are fucking worthless. You're concerned about my enjoyment? You see what I mean? Yeah, I was so into it. I really wasn't thinking about you, but that's not fair. <laughs> I was acting selfish. My, my, you really are a sweetheart. How sedious of you, you are. I don't think I'm very sweet. I behaved like an animal. Er, I behaved like an animal earlier. Maybe you did, but I quite like that. 
I found a man who would take charge. Though, it much appreciate that you it much appreciated that you care about me so much. <laughs> to edge your earlier concern, yes, I enjoyed myself. I haven't had a chance to let off a steam like that in a long while. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Well, there you have it. Marina's gentle reassurance licked a small sigh of relief. Now that I know that she enjoyed herself too, I feel like I can relax. <sighs> I yawn. Sleep washes over me in waves. My eyelids feel very heavy, and I struggle to keep my eyes open. I nuzzle my head against Marina's world lap and close my eyes. My temple's still pounding, and I feel surprisingly at ease with Marina. This might sound weird, but given everything we just did, but there's something almost motherly about her. I can feel my conscience slipping away, but as I'm falling into the land of slubber, I swear I could hear Marina's voice say, voice, light? and sing song as always. What a charming specimen you are. I am drawn to you by mere curiosity at first, I admit, but you make quite the impression. You're a sweet boy with a surprising amount of stamina. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> and your scent is very, very unique. Never met a human boy quite like you before. I'm sorry, did she just say human boy? <laughs> Please tell me I'm tripping, right? Please tell me I'm tripping, right? <clears throat> did she just say human boy? Maybe I'll make you mine. I'm sure that will make you jealous. She's been, she's always been so possessive. Why would she care about me? She literally called me a pervert. Wait a minute. <sighs> Is a you a Sundere? Are you fucking kidding me? But don't worry, my cute, precious rookie. No matter what happens, I'll always let you rest my, your weary head on my lap. <laughs> Laughing softly. Marina bows her head. I could feel the I could feel her warm breath against my cheeks, coupled with the softness of her silver hair. <laughs> oh, there. Maybe this is all a dream. It doesn't feel real. Reality starts to slip from my grasp, like melted, m melting snow. You could have said melted. Um, but I'm sure as I'm breathing even out and my mind drifts away that I can feel a soft sensation against my lips. Beep, 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 beep. Mm. What? I'm roused by my slumber the following morning by the shrill beeping of my alarm clock. It's teeny cry b borrows every in oh, sorry. It's teeny cry borrows into every single crevice of my skull. My temple throbs and I groan. My head's killing me. Sadly for me, my alarm clock doesn't seem to understand how under the weather I am. It's nothing but a machine and it's unlimited immured by my plight. Beep, beep, beep. <clears throat> the hateful device continues to mock me. I swear it gets louder with every beep. All right, all right, enough. <sighs> I sleep under a foot under my futon. My covers bunch about my 
bare legs and reached out for the clock. I seized it and turned it off with a satisfying like, click. Now that my alarm clock has been silenced, I can finally hear myself think. Thank God for that. How much did I drink last night anyway? I pressed my hand against my temple. It does little to ease the throbbing pain beneath my fingertips. Speaking of last night, what happened? I can barely remember. I can barely remember. It's all a blur. I think I went to see the famous idol, AU, in the concert. I didn't see AU, but I wanted to. I did it, but I, I did. Sorry, um, I did. I didn't see AU, but I wanted to. I did it, but I had to. It was a job. Uh, I brought my expensive equipment and took, hoping to take a few high quality pictures of AU's performance, but, oh God. I glanced around my bed, my clothes around the floor, my shoulder bag alongside them. I can't remember the precise detail of last night, but I do remember tripping and falling on my ass. I hurt my head and back, and my bag made an alarm crunch as it fell onto the sidewalk. My camera. Did I really break it? I lunged across my room, dragged my futon, and clumped my way through own bag. I opened it, praying for my best while expecting the worst. I very much, my hazy recollection of last night is nothing more than a nightmare, but damn it! The camera scuffed and marked, and the lens is cracked all the way down to the middle. It's completely inoperable. Alright, Hiroki, calm down. Maybe the lens is broken, but the camera itself might work. You just need to stay cool. I, I extract, I extract the heavy camera from the bag with trembling sausage-like fingers, and reached for the on and off switch. I pressed it, heart hammering, awaiting a miracle, but no dice, huh? The camera refused to turn on. It's giving up the ghost completely. Well. That's just peachy. Disgusting. I threw the broken camera back into the bag. <sighs> it's not like I can damage it more than I already have. And fell back against the Tammy floor with a thud. To think I wanted to be a photojournalist. No, I am nothing more than a liability. This morning isn't the more apprehensive. Yeah, apprehension, apprehensions. Yeah. Um. I wish I could turn back time, slip beneath my futon, and fall asleep once more. Then, I wouldn't have to contend with the looming fear of or losing my job or this awful headache. At least today, Sunday. I don't need to go to work until tomorrow, so that should give me a bit of time to prepare the inevitable of losing my job. That is strange, though. If today's Sunday, why was my alarm clock on? Yeah, it is weird, because you don't normally set your alarm clock around... Yeah, now that I think about it, you don't really set that around that time, so there's somebody in the house. I usually turn my alarm clock off during the weekends, when I don't have jobs to attend to, that is. I have to wake up pretty early to commute to work during the weekdays, so on. The weekends, I like to vague out in my futon during, until midday. Did I turn my alarm clock on before I went to bed? But why? Did past me want, me, want to torture present me or something? Did I have a secret sadistic streak or something? Well, given I'm the one who set the alarm clock, perhaps the most correct way to say misogynist.
I, I, is it? No. Mess. I don't know how to say that. D ignore me. I don't know how to say that. Then again, was I really the one who set that alarm? How did I even get home anyway? I don't even remember. After that failed gig, I went out drinking and then I shared my brain struggling to remember. Then that's when it hit me. I suddenly burned an intense realization. Wakazuki Marina. She invited me back to her office. How could I forget that? I enjoyed myself with a famous businesswoman, Wakazuki <sighs> Marina, in the attempt to forget my sorrows. Then I passed out. How then did I end up back in my apartment? I don't get it. Did last night really happen or? I look around my room searching for some kind of clue. Fortunately, it doesn't take me long to spot it. Meaning? Then there lying next to my alarm clock is an envelope. Was this from Marina? I open the envelope and then slides out a pure white sheet of paper that reads thus. Dear Hiroki, thank you for drinking with me last night. I had a very good time. I hope your dolences prove to be enjoyable for you too. After you passed out of my office, I expect so far to drive you back home. I found your address in your business card. What was in your wallet? I hope you can forgive me for looking through some so personal. Um, I expect so far to set your alarm nice and early so you don't oversleep. Um, you drink a good deal, and but I afraid you throws off the day away if you gave the opportunity. Remember, the early birds catch the worm. Uh, you might disagree with me, but I think it's important to wake up in a timely manner. Don't go back to sleep here. Um, I've taken a quite interest of you and I'm going to whip you into shape if it's the last thing I do. Maybe you can look at it as a pet project of mine. Yours, Marina. P.S. If you're worried about going to work tomorrow, don't be. Uh, I have connections and I'll do a, do I can to smooth things over. I won't let your boss fire you. You're much too precious. Huh? What? What do you know? I guess she. I guess I really did meet Wakasuki, um, Marina last night. It wasn't a weird fever dream at all. I'm not sure what Marina means by her P.S. Though, is she gonna talk to my boss on behalf on my behalf? That'd be nice of her, but I'm not sure if even Wakasuki Marina would be able to talk my boss over. He's a stubborn old goat. Uh, I should prepare for the worst, just be sure. God, my head is sobbing so much, I can hardly think. Sorry, Marina, but I think I'm gonna have to go back to bed after all. I shuffle back in my futon and drop it allegedly against my soft covers. That is too much to deal with right now, I'm afraid. If I don't get any rest, my brain will explode. My life's starting to feel like something from a TV drama. I'm just hoping whoever's in charge of writing the screenplay of my life will see fit to tone things down a notch coming tomorrow. Can't promise that! The next day, safe! I jump onto the train seconds before the automatic doors close. In my haste, I push a couple of businessmen wielding briefcases to the side and they tug me disapprovingly sorry I'm sorry I apologize to the men head bow is any good yes to do it's important to remember one's manners after all um, even on one day like this it's a Monday morning and the weather is swel swelterly hot I woke up a little after 630 had a shower ate a hurried breakfast Put on my clothes and then headed to the train station. Uh, I got on the train at 7:30 as per usual, and then I was ready for my daily hour to commute to work. As my calculations are right, I should get to work around 8:30. Though my work day doesn't technically start at 9, my boss is a hard ass, and he likes everybody to be present and accounted for far earlier. 
it'll be nice if I get paid a little extra coming for coming a half hour early and staying the half hours late. But that's not how the world works. My boss isn't just a hard ass, he's also incredibly stingy. Uh, if I could find a better job a little closer to home, I accept it in a heartbeat. But it's precisely because I can't find a better job than this, then I better stuck at this place for the last three years. It's enough to make a man cry, really. Well, when a boss learns to full the extent, to when the bo ugh. Well, when the, when, oh my God, I can't speak. Well, when my boss <laughs> learns full of the extent of my failure over the last week, weekend, sorry, I may not have to worry about this commute much longer. Marina said she, she's in a good word for my boss, but I don't know how much way her reinsurance will hold. She might be famous, but her boss isn't the sort of person to be swayed by celebrities. The train sways back and forth, rattles the train. This particular compartment, compartment is full of bursting, and I'm being jostled by all sides by grumpy men and women. Uh, the train takes a curve, and I slip backwards. I actually stand on a businesswoman's foot, and she glowers at me. Sorry, I'm very sorry. She seems to be upset. I seem to be upsetting everybody today. Uh, talk about losing friends and alienating people I tried shuffling away from the woman but there's nothing else I not where else I could really go barely an inch of free space in this miserable compartment uh, and my sides being poked and jostled with intrusive elbows it's a hot summer day and the inside of these overcrowded trains feels like a sauna I already showered once in this morning, but I'm already sweating already. I'm already sweating. <sighs> Whatever. I hope I don't smell bad. Time's t time ticks by far too slow. The train pulls into a stop, but mercifully a few people get off, including a woman which, whose foot I stepped on. Finally, I can breathe. But not for too long. A new influx. <laughs> a new influx of people get on the train. More than I can make up for those who just stepped off. Now the compartment's even more crowded than ever. You have got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> what am I getting myself into again? What am I getting myself into again? I'm hammered in by the doors, a businessman behind me, and a young girl to the front. I can't see the girl's face, but if I had to work her and guess her age, <clears throat> I'd put her at her early 20s. She's She isn't wearing a school uniform, which rules out the possibility that she's a high school student. Maybe she attended a local university? Her hair is dyed a crazy shade of blue as she wears a pink jacket coupled with a very, very short shorts. She's pressed against me intimidately so I can smell her. I can smell her. She's unlike the other commuters on the train. She smells fresh and sweet, a little like cinnamon. Her hair in particular is delectable, really. And I am <laughs> aware of how good this mystery girl smells. I'm more anxious than I ever, ever, than ever about what I might smell of. Silly thoughts, it is. <sighs> I'd like to make a good impression on her. I can see her face, uh, but I'm sure she's cute. Uh, only cute girls wear, um, wear shorts as dingy tiny as hers. I imagine the girl in my head I often do during the commutes on uh, commutes to work <clears throat> I mean it's not like there's anything else I could do I fashioned her pair of large eyes fringed with long lashes and a button nose 
she'll have pursed lips, pink like cherry bottoms, and two sweetly blushing cheeks and uh, a nice body. I don't even need to wonder what her body looks like when I can feel it pressed against me. It's possible that this could have been an honest mistake on the girl's part, but... What? 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 Now she's moaning. How do I get into this situation? How? 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 Again? I want to escape, but things are escalating any further, but that's impossible. This train's too busy. This girl has me tapped, and she must know it. How am I going to wiggle out of this one? Hey, um, I draw closer and to go a risky move, and then I bring my lips to her ear. You might be not aware, but you, um, I shallow. You're kind of pressing against me? I hope this is some sort of misunderstanding. With a bit of luck, the girl will squeak an alarm and back away, her face burning. I like to resolve this problem peacefully without disturbing the people around us, but... I know. The girl replies swiftly with a never trance of embarrassment in her tone. What the fuck? <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? We are on the train and you're doing this shit. You. Wh what do you mean, you know? I know what I'm doing. You do. Why don't you stop? I don't want to. This is too much fun. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. I should. <laughs> oh my god. If this entire train wasn't so crowded, I could literally slap you upside your damn head. I don't condone violence against women, but god help me, you are trying to get me in trouble, bitch. This might be fun for you, making me swim. This is a real problem for me. It's a problem? You don't like it? I, uh, see, the thing is, I, I, I would say I, I, I'm afraid I like it a bit too much. <laughs> and that's the problem, I would definitely say, after that. So, yeah. No, it's not. It's, that's not it. I like it more than I should. If this keeps going, we'll both be in trouble. Thank you. Really? Yes, really. This is dangerous. So, I don't get it. If you like it, we should keep going. I want to make you happy. Oh, I'm not getting to her at all. In fact, I think I might have made things worse. So anything I say at this point is just out of line. Ain't this a fucking bit? You know what? Marina wasn't joking. Hold up. How the fuck do you know Marina? I just want to be close to you. I don't know. is going on what the fuck is going on yo i swear to god we literally literally we just talked to marina not too long ago and now all of a sudden somebody knows her ha 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 i make my way to work the soles of my shoes slipped away from the sidewalk after a little incident on the train i feel obliged to get off a few stops earlier than usual couldn't bring myself to stay on that train surrounded by all those good men and women after everything I'd done. It would have been way too embarrassing. I gasp for air as I win my way to the Tokyo's busy streets. Men and women are in busy attires throng about me and veritable armies of high school students in their crisp, which white uniforms chat and giggle excitably. They are young and carefree. The girls, the girls in the padded hair and blue padded skirts, the boys in their sport bags sprung over to their shoulders in a scruff of black shoes. Um, what I wouldn't give to be a teen again. I don't know how easy they have it. My encounter with a mysterious woman on the train must have taken my mind off of things for a few minutes. Did our elation truly finish so fast? But now, doubts are starting to catch up with me. It doesn't matter how quickly you walk, 
You can't outskip my fears. <sighs> what am I going to do when I see my boss? What is he going to say? <sighs> my head has, a head might as well be a chopping block. This day shaping up might be the crazy one. It's not even nine o'clock yet. I've only been, I've only been awake a handful of hours. Maybe when I get to work, I find my bars has transformed into a cute girl. That's quite disturbing, the thought actually. You know what? Let's not pursue this train of thought any longer. Really though, if I get to work and find my Anyways, ill-tempered boss has transformed into a cute girl overnight. I wouldn't even be surprised. At this point, I'd be like one more drop in ever-expanding ocean. But to my relief, I'm going to end it there. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. I, I really appreciate it. Um, please make sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button if you want to to the channel. I'll see you guys later.